Okay, so we're asking the question of whether deep learning approaches to sentiment analysis are going to enable us to predict market dynamics surrounding earnings reports. So, and if we are able to do that, we want to know which architectures are going to be the best at doing so. So with sentiment analysis, what you're doing is you're basically trying to use text and other forms of data. We're going to focus on text, but you can do video as well, or images. But you're using this data to extract uh, subjective information and to quantify affective states. So the initial research that we did that Rajan's going to talk about is that you basically have two types. You have simple and you have advanced. If you're doing simple sentiment analysis, you're trying to categorize text as either positive, negative, or neutral. And if you've got an advanced model, you're trying to actually identify the act affective state. So are they happy? Are they sad? Are they angry? Are they pensive? One of these things. So then within those two categories, you then have two types of approaches that have been developed over like the past 20 years for, comp for this in a computational s setting. And the first one is knowledge-based, which uses lexicons and dictionaries to make classifications based on semantic orientations, like the words that are coming together and how they're arranged. And the other approach is statistical, that's what we're going to be doing, and that uses supervised and unsupervised machine learning to create weighting, scoring, and classification systems. So the most popular approaches that we're going to be exploring and finding out how to um, uh, constellate, we're going to be looking at support vector machines, convolutional neural networks, recurrent neural networks with long short-term memory units. Okay. So we'll be collecting data that falls into two categories, quantitative market data on uh, the S&P 500 stocks, and we'll be getting that from the Investors Exchange API, and also market sentiment data from social media APIs and news APIs. Uh, so for social media, we've looked at uh, Reddit and Twitter to start so that we can filter for stock-related discussion, and we've initially also identified the Reuters API for general U.S. business news. Uh, and these are three of the papers that we want to use as relevant literature. So the first one, it's predicting you know, stock prices with earnings call transcripts only using more advanced sentiment analysis, so classifying into I think one of six emotions. Uh, a strength of this is they have a very well-developed methodology, but they don't use deep learning, which is something that we could add. The next gives an overview of the different types of neural networks for sentiment analysis. Um, so this would be a good base point for what models we're going to be testing. Uh, this is where like, RNN, LSTM, CNN from the previous slide came. The last shows that specifically aspect level sentiment analysis does work on financial data, uh, but they didn't focus on earnings or on earnings, or on, uh, I guess, tech specifically. <laughs> 